this video, we will demonstrate how to perform an ultrasound to guide internal jugular central venous catheter access. We start out by scanning the patient's neck. And adjacent to the thyroid gland is the carotid artery and the internal jugular vein. In this picture, the internal jugular vein is fully compressible and the carotid artery is pulsating and not compressible. The approach to cannulating the internal jugular vein can be done in either the short axis or the long axis approach. In the short axis approach, which is the most common approach, there is easy visualization of the position of the carotid artery next to the internal jugular vein. The long axis approach allows for an elongated view of the internal jugular vein as well as the needle as it approaches the internal jugular vein. However, there is no lateral visualization of the carotid artery. So a small misstep could show the carotid artery versus the jugular vein. So care must be taken when inserting the needle to not insert it into the wrong vessel.